Whoa. I, I had mourned. Though I'm mourning, I've mourned and wept because of the doom in humanity. The doom hanging even upon the churches of God because they don't know him. They have left him. They are not working on his truth. They don't know his truth. I see churches meeting in the cathedrals. I see tribal churches, national churches, churches worldwide in the ignorance of God. Hey, I see nations that even the church, the light of God has not gone there. I counted how many sinners will be going to hell. It's as if all human creatures are moving to hell. How many are true servants of God? There are too few among mankind. It troubled me. It troubled me. I mourned before God. I cried before God. Do something about this matter. God, these people are not aware. God, these people are not aware. See them. Your word has declared the soul that sinned, it shall die. They sin every day. Even those who are ministers of the gospel, they have not gotten conviction of holiness. Living a life without telling lies. Living a life without lusting. Living a life without ungodly anger. Living a life without immoral thoughts. Living a life without hating anybody. They are not aware of this. Living their lives without being defiled by money. They are not aware of this. Oh, without submitting to Satan and devils. They are not aware of this. Oh, Lord, look at them again in jewelry. Who are, how many women know anything about earrings that he condemns to hell? They are not aware. How many of them know about painting the lips, painting the face, that you cannot make it to heaven? They are not aware. This thing is happening worldwide. Doom is upon man. Doom is upon man. It was a problem to my life. I mourned. I mourned. I cried. I wept. I remember one time outside the country, I cried. My voice was to be heard about the, by the neighbors around in the night because of the doom of mankind. I said, God, something must be done. Help me to pass knowledge to mankind. Help me to spread knowledge. Let them have the knowledge of truth. Let them know what the scriptures say. Let them be born again. Let them be holy. Let them be original. That was my prayer. It was my prayer in the book of Romans. Chapter 10. Romans, let's read chapter 9 verse 1. Then we move to chapter 10. Verse 1 to 4. The Bible tells us. I say the truth in Christ. Verse 1. I lie not my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. That, verse 2. I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Why? Verse, chapter 10, verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness and have, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ... It's the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. They are not aware of this. They are doing another thing. They reject Jesus completely. They say they don't want. They don't want him. I am in sorrow. I am in pain. I am in sorrow, in pain. Because these people would have known the Lord. These people would have known Jesus. That's the way. That is for them. And Jesus is the end of righteousness. Not obeying the laws. Uh, from the coming of Jesus, the day the resurrec re resurrection of Jesus, the law of Moses' effect, it is faith in Jesus now that matters worldwide and forever. But they are not aware. They still go to do temple worship, burning incense, waste, washing legs and washing face. Oh my God, I feel pain for these people. And because of that pain, God opened the door of salvation to Paul. That through Paul, 
human beings from all generations have met, have come to the knowledge of Christ. They have writings of Paul guiding their lives to eternity. We have enjoyed the writings of Paul because of this cry in his heart. The Lord answered him. The Lord answered me too. The coming of holiness revival movement was the answer to my prayer. The Lord answered me too. Books have been written. Carefully written. Each book is a revelation of truth. More than 50 books, great books have been written. Messages, I should think, to about 2,000 messages have been preached. I mean, above more, about uh, maybe 1,500 in the, in the internet. Recorded for human beings worldwide to know the truth. And bless God, the Lord is leading people to it. The Lord is leading people to these writings. The Lord is leading people to these messages. I'm blessed. The Lord is multiplying these messages. And people are testifying, saying, our eyes have opened. The scales in our eyes have fallen down. Ministers of the gospel are saying, had we not known these things, we would have died and gone to hell. Our members would have been wasted. I'm so grateful. This is what the Lord is doing. He's doing it worldwide. The Lord has given me a printing press where this books can be printed. It, we print it ourselves. In mass, thousands of them, and send them out in their thousands. Oh, what a comfort. What a comfort. I'm still crying. God, open more doors. Let these books run. And go and deliver these people. And bring people out of ignorance. So God is answering prayers. Another clap offering to Jesus because he's doing so. God is answering my prayers. Jesus, you're answering my prayers. This world, you will break through this world. You will break through this world. You will break through this world. And give salvation to mankind. You will give holiness to the church of Christ. God, you will prepare them for the coming of Jesus. Young men, children and adults. Men, women, even the illiterate that, don't, that cannot read and write. Father, provision is made for them. Interpreting them these words into their language. God, continue in this your great work. Another clap offering to Jesus. I'm talking about what God is doing. God is satisfying my longing heart. He is satisfying my desire. You are here now. It is part of my prayer that you will know this truth. That's why God brought you across my way. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.